uh, what made you transition from the in, uh, project engineer to the beam engineer? Oh. Well, when I was in the university, uh, it's worse the beginning here in Peru of the methodology of being, being implemented in the projects here. So I work as a production engineer. I was in a building of departments. Uh, was uh, three build three skyscrapers. I was in charge of two. Uh, I didn't see anything of it there. We know that the project has a model of uh, departments, but we didn't use it too much. It just was to make some metrics of concrete to make our to to ask for the company of concrete and. After that, I received a call of the company I am now, that is Cosapi, to be a beam, beam engineer because I have a studies of, of being here. So I said I entered to uh, infrastructure buildings, a sport infrastructure building here in Peru. It was uh, the Videna for the Pan American Games. It's, it was the most or the bigger the bigger project of Peru for the, for the sport games. So we make a lot of things there. We start like with a model from the design, working with a company of England. The, in, in England make the architecture, in Peru we, we, we make the structures and map modeling. After the design, we focus on the construction. We make a model dedicated for construction. We try to join Lean with Bing. We do, we try to do it. We I think we do it well. Then we we want to go more further. So we 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 try something about cost, about planning. Then we in that project we use point clouds for the stadium. So we make a lot of things that here in Peru were were new. Was a was a I don't know how, how to say that was a little hard for us, but at the end we we can say that it was a great project. All the knowledge, all the know-how that we get there was a lot of important for the company and for the country. That from that project have a change here in Peru. The government uh, is now developing uh, like a protocol of BIM oh, wow. that says that says all public projects have to have to have at least one model. Okay. Uh, one city model. Wow. So, so we make a change here in Peru with uh, with that project. That's crazy. And in, and in the airport, what is the other bigger project that are this year in Peru? Are asking all the companies that at least have had a one big engineering to work with the major constructor that we are. So we can see the change. And about that project, uh, more the idea of big infrastructure for the company. So as I I studied some in the university, some programs of infrastructure. They said me if I was interested in trying to implement, I said yes. I was moved to a road project to try to make a first implementation. But it failed because the manager don't want to invest too much. Yeah. <laughs> Common story. They, yeah, <laughs> the typical. So they... <laughs> They contract other companies to do, for example, the point clouds, other that what the work that was going to be in charge of the modeling, and I go and I was only going to manage manage all the information. But it failed because the the company that was in charge of the point clouds never never give us any information. They have a uh, one month of time to give all the information. They failed to us. They used drones to to try to to make a point cloud, 
but that file of ROM, uh, when we check the information, we see that get a, that they have an error, uh, mistakes of between ten centimeters to a meter and a half. Oh wow, that's <laughs> that's quite that's a lot. Yeah. So uh, with no, that, uh, the manager the manager says that we are going to continue to the implementation. So I moved to the central office. And in the central office, they were convinced to the being implementation. We said we start with a small fix, a small modeling in a road. We make a presentation of a five kilometers road project. Uh, the, man, the managers in central office like it. Uh, here now, trying to, <laughs> with a small steps, try to get a big project implementation. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's uh, like amazing experience and also amazing story because at least like uh, when we look, for example, if we look uh, Finland's uh, infrastructure construction, like uh, the companies who started adopting BIM first are now really rocking in there. Like they are winning uh, uh, projects uh, left and right. And uh, like finding that, uh, how to say, the delicate balance of uh, which part of BIM are utilizing uh, in which areas to make the process as uh, efficient as possible. That's uh, really like, I think that's the uh, right direction. And uh, that's really cool that you yeah. made it like in uh, Peru. That's right. we are, now we are, we are seeing which area need more implementation than the others. We don't have to change it too much because that, the challenge that uh, have here in Peru is that the, the person, the culture. They don't believe in the technology. <laughs> they want, they want to work. They want to work as, and they want to work traditionally because they know that is going to end well. So they trust in that, and they don't want to change. That's a that's a culture here. Uh, it changed a little in the in these few years from with the new generation of engineering, but we have we just we have get that that idea. So we are that's our real challenge: change the culture.